Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at the, uh, the link in, uh, the link out and uh, the link call node. And the link call node is a new node and it was added in uh, version 2.1 and these are the release nodes for version 2.1 and you can see here the new link call node. Now the idea of the link nodes is basically to link nodes between um, tabs. So say you've got a function node here and you want to link it to another node on a different tab then you use a link out node on the outgoing node and on the incoming node you use a, a link in node and you can also use them within the same tab and I do that quite often when you've got a particularly long flow and you want a link between say this function here and something further down the, the flow and you could drag a wire but uh, it looks a bit messy you could then use a, a link in and a link out node further down so I'm just going to demonstrate the way the um, link in and link out nodes work and then we're going to look at uh, the new link call node. Okay, so this is our flow. Um, we've just got a timestamp here connected to here, which is a link out node, which connects to this one here, which is a link in node, which connects to a function node and the function node just basically puts in a bit of text, test and that connects to a link out node which connects to these two debug nodes here debug one and debug two now when i click on here we get a message out on both debug one and debug two which is what we expect because this link out node is connected to both of these link in nodes and you should notice with the the way the editor works when you actually click on the outgoing node it actually shows you what it's connected to here just a quick housekeeping note, and it's something that I don't always do, and I apologize for that, is you should give these things uh, sensible names. And I've called this one Inject Out. Usually you give it the name of the actual node itself. Uh, this one hasn't got a name again. Uh, you should give them names. And I always suffix the out nodes with an out, and I suffix the uh, in nodes with an in. Now, if you're linking between tabs, you should also incorporate the tab name. So usually you've got um, tab, node, and in or out uh, as part of, uh, part of the name. Okay, so that's the way the, um, the link in and the link out nodes work. Now, as part of um, the call node, the addition of the link call node, uh, there was a change made to the link out node and if you look at here there's this option here where you can return to the calling link node or send to the connected uh, all connected nodes now this is basically if you leave this it is the default setting this is the old link out node uh, this is the way it used to be configured and if you're using an older version of node red you won't have this option and this is the way it will work it will link to all outgoing nodes now if you set it to return to the link calling node and press done notice now when i click on here those arrows are removed sorry those uh, those uh, wires are removed so it's not showing them it's actually connected to here and the reason it's not showing it's not connected to here is because it's not connected to there and we're going to see that in, in a second so further down here we've got our link call node if i click on it here you can see it's connected to test in and which is basically the input here and if i look on this one here you can see it works the same way it's connected to test in and notice the timeout of 30 seconds and i'm going to show you how that works in a, in a second and it's also they're also connected to debug nodes so when i actually inject here i expect to see something on here because it's connected to here and it's going to go into the function node as well and it's going to get the name of test but it's not going to go out here and let's just click on here and you see here it's gone into the debug 3 and what's passed into debug 3 is test so it actually went out of this node here into this node here into the function node and came out again and came back to the call node that's very important that so the <clears throat> so what this node does now is actually return the message to the actual calling node and we can see that again if I do it with the call node d4 
you can see good debug form we've got our test message so again it went from this here into here into here into here and that returned it back into the calling node which was this node here so what happens if something goes wrong here well I'm going to simulate that just by setting this back to send to all connected nodes and deploying it so we're back to the original now this is still connected to here which is connected to here which is connected to here and that will send it into debug 1 and debug 2 but it won't return it back to the call node so this is the purpose of the timeout now I've set it down to 10 seconds it defaults to 30 seconds so after 10 seconds I'll get an error message so let's click on here now it comes out debug 1 and debug 2 which we expect because it's wired into here now the call node is expecting a reply it doesn't get it so we get a timeout okay that's it that's how the new link call node works and that's the end of the video until the next video goodbye